Hello there mortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to the Forgotten Kingdom, the free DLC for Remnant 2. I am currently sitting at a loading screen and I'm live. Uh, reminder, if you want to catch me live, just subscribe to my YouTube and you'll see a little red dot next to my username whenever I am actually live. You can come and interact with me as much as you want, but until you do that, we are going to fire through this game. What were we doing? I think at the end of the last episode, we were trying to figure out how to get to this hidden door just over here this is in a very strange location and i haven't exactly seen anything that would correlate to us being able to get up there i have seen a couple of elevators that had a kind of an egress from it into a hidden tunnel and i suspected that that would be the answer but it seems as though the lift that i'm talking about is not actually on this map right here now i don't know how to get down here uh, I think we have to go through the center, but I'm pretty sure we're not actually supposed to be here in the first place. If we go back and check our map, in the last session that I played of this, we actually did unlock a pretty wide majority of the map. You can actually see that here. So let's go to the Lambient Pass and we'll see what else there is to do. If memory serves, we found ourselves a gigantic Kuluyaku egg. No, that's Monster Hunter World. Uh, we found a giant Kuri Kuri egg. That's the one. And we don't know what to do with it. I think we need to find a gigantic bird, or at least a chef, so that we can eat it. There's an NPC over here. Okay, I know exactly where we are. This was the last area that we had unlocked. What the hell is this? There's actually a place over here. There's also a cherished fracture, whatever the hell that means. Oh, would you look at that? There's elevators all over the place as well. Great. So, let's actually come along here. We'll try and go up the elevators. Excuse me, sir. Hello there, friendo. I'm going to end you! And also at the same time, while I'm reminded of it, I am going to turn the volume way down on my end. Okay, perfect. Perfect! That was way too noisy. Here we go. So, we are not really looking at a lift per se. Where is this damn thing? Oh, it's way over here. So we have to fall off this ledge and then hang a left, I think thing let's come down here we will do it a, a big old murder we have enraged uh, some kind of special enemy which is maybe not the best thing in the world where is it there it is okay they're mm. aggroing doggo which is pretty good let's give them a bunch of debuffs and then we will shock them here i am shock me like a hurricane that kind of shock no wait those aren't the lyrics <laughs> Oh well, we'll assume for canonicity's sake that those are in fact the lyrics. Uh, we have a couple of centipedes ahead of us here, and we've got a pot. Not to be confused with Tool's popular album, The Pot. No, song, The Pot. Okay, there's nothing in there. I don't know why that pot was even in there in the first place. Let's get our big ass kicker of a gun out, and we will do a bit of damage. I thought that was an enemy for a split second, but now I do not, on account okay. of it being this completely it. gone. What is it? Uh, we literally just need to go straight ahead here. Hi, friends! Uh, one, and there's another one just over here who is probably going to do a big drop slam. I played once, of course, this. I know that trick. It does not work. Very, very uh, deceitful of you to have tried, but it does not work. How the hell do we get up there? There is apparently a way. Is this a hidden wall, maybe? No. No, I do not think so. Okay. Uh, let's continue onwards. There should be an enemy here. There is an enemy right there. Very good. I will wail on him for a bit. Whoop! Gonna dodge him, of course. And then we kill. We do a big old kill. Uh, that looks like a centipede to me. Let's murder it. And there's also one dude out. There's a couple of dudes, actually. Let's get the Tesla gun out for the crowd control. Excellent. And this one, too. Just because I already had the gun out. And we'll do a reload. I think he's aggroing me. He has aggroed me. Very close. Very close indeed, but not white now i think that this right here this elevator is actually the one with the uh cave in it i assume it's going to be the one with the cave in it let's come in here yes it is actually it's right there uh let's stand on this button right here please okay all right good and then we are going to basically sprint in this direction until we end up out here okay great it looks like a single item was out here, which may not be great. I suspect there's going to also be an abomination of some sort here. This is it. Yeah, you're telling me. Uh, no, that's not an enemy. I don't see any enemies around here. 
Again, I'm suspecting an abomination to come out. What the hell flag is that? I've never seen that before in my life. Huh. Okay, this is a burden of the mason. Let's read his law first. I knew full well that I'm risking everything by putting this to paper, but it must be recorded in the annals of time. We are journeying down a thorny path, and wherever it leads, let it be known that the treachery in motion now is the work of a few twisted souls alone. We are not all led astray, I swear it. My fellow Vaunt have been blinded by power. How could it have come to this? Our sweet goddess has gifted us so much. She has lifted us from nothingness and allowed us to bask in her glory. We went from living like beasts to a safe and comfortable existence, all thanks to her kindness. Yet, that is not enough for my kin. They desire more, and that desire will destroy us all. Even now, a plan is brewing to capture the goddess and pry the secrets of her power from her by any means necessary. Footsteps! I will return to this account as soon as I am able. Ah, it is too much! This is a different day, by the way. It is blasphemy to even speak of such a thing. Our damnation has been voted on unanimously. It is decided, it is done. I tried to protest, but I was quickly and absolutely shut down. With great cruelty and no small threat to my life and that of my kin, I breathe a word of their schemes. I have no choice but to go along with it, though my heart rallies against it. I've also just remembered, uh, by the way, that YouTube automatically sets my streams to unlisted. So let me change that to public. And it is done. Great. Gotta bring up chat and my streaming software. And back to the back to the book. There is nothing to be gained here, only tragedy. We may secure more power, power, but we will lose our souls in the process. It sickens me. Lydusa, dear, dotting goddess of stone and loam, herald of the sweet, lilting voices of the stones that build our village. Forgive me. I wish I had the strength of character to stop what is to come. I am a coward, and as such, complicit in all of these tidings. I am stained with sin, and though the title remains, I am vaunt no more. May the goddess have mercy on us all. She absolutely did not have mercy on anybody. Uh, we've just found the burden of the mason. And we didn't actually get attacked by any kind of abomination. That's in interesting indeed. What is this? Impairs dodges by one weight class. Why the hell would we want that? Increases melee damage by 30% of the wearer's total damage reduction. I see why we would want that. I see why we would want that. That is a tank melee build. That, yeah, yeah, actually, that would be very powerful for a tank melee. Uh, let's take out this pot before it takes us out. Excellent. Very strange indeed. And now we are going to fall down this hole. We've fallen down the hole. Very good. Wow, that was well concealed, actually. I had no idea that was there that whole time. So there's what? Hello? Pot! There's more pot coming after us. Take him out. Okay, let's look at the map, because I seem to remember there being... Is that an enemy? No. Okay, let's go pet Doggo. Good boy! Such a good wee boy, isn't he? I love Doggo. I think everybody loves Doggo. Right, so we were looking at this place right over here on the other side of the map, annoyingly enough. Can we put a waypoint down? No, no, we can't. Okay. Uh, there's also kind of like an upstairs that we may want to explore because it looks pretty profound. So we'll come out of here and we'll go left. We'll hang a left out of here. Let's make sure all of our guns are loaded up. They are very good. There is a trade point up there. So going upstairs is actually going to... Be probably the best idea that we could possibly have right this second. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And yeah, this is where we want to go next, I think. We want to go up here. And we want oh, there's a door out there too. Well, okay. There is in fact a monster. I'm running. It's the one above us. That one right there. The one that literally just spams drop slams over and over again. See? Enjoy! Whoops, I fell. That's probably not good. Whoa, okay, that hurt. All right, let's dodge that, and we'll dodge the next one too. Boom. And now we're going to roll away from this, and we're going to fire our homing shots at him because he's very quick. Okay, let's uh, run. Uh, he's aggroed on Doggo, which is very lucky for us. Boom, unlimited ammo. Perfect. But we, we triggered it as soon as we killed him, annoyingly enough. No matter. Okay, I'm going to reload the gun and we will come out of here. I'm pretty sure that reloading the gun while having infinite ammo anyway also allows you... Okay. Also allows you to kind of recuperate some of the ammo that you didn't necessarily have. So up here is worthless to us. There is a direction we can go that way with the trait point right here. Boop. There we go. Let's run over here. And we got one trait point. Nice. 
I do have a couple of mods enabled. You'll know this if you have seen the previous episode. Pardon me, Pop. I need to uh, just get past you here. I hope you don't mind if I eliminate you entirely. Right, let's take a look at the map again and we'll see what else there is. There's one other spot kind of on the other side of here that we may be able to jump to. Yes, there it is. I don't know if there's going to be anything good here, though. Ooh. I may be completely wrong. We have not been there. Okay, let's try and make this jump. Whee! Oh, just made it too. I don't think Doggo's going to make it, unfortunately. He's a good boy, though. He'll stay. He'll stay where we, where we tell him to stay. So, we found a secret area already, which is pretty funny. Come in here. This looks like a place for an abomination. Or a soldier. What the hell is he doing here? Sir? Are you a secret? I don't believe it. Is is that a pooch? Yep. Come here. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, God. It's been ages since I saw one. Man's best friend right there. Wait. What the? Well, I'll be damned. Either you're a human or I ate some bad mushrooms. I haven't seen a fellow Earthling in decades. All right. Explain yourself. Or I start shooting. Do I really look like the kind of person you want to point a gun at? Who the hell are uh, you? I'm asking the questions around here, kid. Where did you come from? And what are you doing in my home base? Talk. And if I like what you say, you may just walk out of here alive. So I'm a wanderer talking. from Earth. And you are from Earth. I yeah, know. I just said that. Wonders never cease. At ease. I'm Private Jack Driver. Hello, Private. Now, this is going to sound crazy, but I've been stranded here on Yesha for over a century. I may be an old man now, but I was actually a kid when I first came here. <laughs> New recruit. Fresh out of boot camp. Life has been... trying, to say the least. Who the hell is this guy? I would be dead if not for my survival training. You got trained? You throw me for a loop here. I feel like I'm dreaming, but... Well, those types of dreams usually involve go-go boots. Mr. Sandman has lost his touch if I'm asleep. I think Go-Go Boots is like a stripper joke. I have questions. Get in line, kid. The white in my gruff and my horrible back pain tell me I've been waiting a lot longer for answers than you have. I'll go first. Okay, sure. It wasn't a question, but glad you're making it easier on yourself. Now tell me, is America still safe? Still free? Did, did we beat the Ruskies to the moon? Are, are there flying cars or anything like that? Come on, lay it on me. Uh, yeah, all of that and more. It's amazing. I've been dreaming of Earth for a hundred years. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Flying cars. Gee, golly. Just like in the pictures. Well, yeah. I needed that morale boost. Thank you. Now, uh, what did you want to ask me? I, uh, how did you, I've never seen a human outside Earth that's actually a lie. We've seen a bunch of them outside Earth. How did you wind well, up this here? This ain't story hour, so I'll try to keep it brief. When I was a new recruit, I was sent here on a recon mission with my squad. We were captured by the Pan. Thanks to our captain, we managed to escape. But we were separated. We never saw our commanding officer again. He must have died and stayed dead. But the rest of us, well, we died and then somehow reappeared at the stone we used to travel here from Earth. We were the same, but older. Bizarre, I know. Long story short, the stone stopped working, so we were trapped here on Yesha for good. We would have died if not for our training and the things our captain had taught us about this world. But how did he know about this world? Why did the stone stop working? Damned if I know. We were soldiers, not scientists. I bet Captain Ford could have figured it out. But like I said, we'd already lost him. I'd have done anything to fix that thing. But no dice. We were stranded in this hellhole. Over time, the rest of my squad died one too many times and never showed up again. Eventually, you age out of that trick, I guess. Hey, I'm no spring chicken, so I'm likely on my last leg myself. Captain Ford is not only alive, but commanding the base back at Ward 13. So uh, this is probably good information we could tell him. That isn't funny. Don't you dare sully the memory of our dearly departed commanding officer. He was the greatest man I've ever known, aside from my pops. He deserves better than that. Uh, it's true. Andrew Ford is a friend of mine. I never told you his first name. 
Holy smoke. Today just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Well, hell. We thought he was dead. So I bet he assumed the same. That or he escaped, but then couldn't get back through that broken stone. I know he would have come back for us if he could have. Yep, he definitely would have. I can't believe he's still alive. If I ever reunite with that brave bastard, I'm going to punch him right in the kisser and then give him the biggest hug he's ever had. Do you want to reunite with him? I actually, I know a teleportation stone. There's actually a billion of them around the place. I don't know why you haven't even looked. But they're here. I've never seen a human outside of Earth. Sounds like you've done a lot of traveling. You know, when I was recruited, I thought I'd see the whole world. Never imagined I'd wind up leaving the whole world behind. I'll admit, I miss being around humans. It gets lonely. This is too weird. Oh, I'd give anything to sleep in a soft bed again. Or sit by a fireplace. Do they still have those? With a hot cup of coffee? Shit. I don't usually let myself think about coffee. Hmm. Some wounds run too deep. There's two options here. What's coffee and what's a fireplace? I actually personally know what coffee is, but let's roleplay as if we've never seen coffee before in our lives. Oh, you folks probably have something even better these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. that's possible. Yeah, we've got better it's things. It's basically a, a drink that puts some pep in your step. It's... It's bitter as all get out, but somehow still tastes like heaven. That's hard to explain. It's a narcotic. What do you remember about Earth? A lot. I used to write down things that I remembered so I wouldn't forget them. But, well, I got too depressing. I remember seagulls fighting over crusts of bread on the beach. Joy. Red, white, and blue flags waving proudly over perfectly manicured lawns. What's a lawn? Mop tops on television making the girls go wild. <laughs> Birthday candles and the smell from Ma's kitchen when she made Thanksgiving dinner. Stacks of new jeans in the stores and kids laughing in the park. And my sweetheart, who I left behind. Her name was Dawn. I, we have a Dawn. I, I remember her a lot. The smell of her perfume. The way she blush when I'd compliment her dress. Her red Mary Janes. She, she's dead by now, but believe you me, that chick was far out. We have a Dawn at Bates. Okay, let's not tell him One about last her. thing before we part ways. Tell it to me straight. Do you know of a way to get back home? Yeah, I do. Now, I'm not big on asking for favors. I've been in survival mode the vast majority of my life. But I'm asking you this. When you go back, will you take me with you? Oh, is he going to be pissed off that we lied to him about whether or not the, the world is still standing? I will. I, I promise I'll take you Words back. I can't express what I'm feeling right now. Thank you. In fact, here, take this. A little token of my appreciation. It's not much, but it's saved my hide more times than I can count. Won't be needing it anymore, so I want you to have it. Now, go and do whatever it is you came here to do. I'd go with, but uh, truth be told, I'm a rickety old man now. I'd only slow you down. Finish your mission and come back. I'll be waiting. Is there any chance, maybe, that we could possibly get like a hundred of him over at Ward 13? Because uh, well, I remember distinctly that we have a Dawn. We've got a Dawn somewhere. Okay, he doesn't have any lore around the place. Uh. Right, so we will come back to him after we finish our adventure. We've got to keep him in mind. But ultimately, I, I don't necessarily think that he's going to go anywhere, right? Because he's just a, a rickety old man. His words, not mine. All right, we're going this way now. Uh, boing! I boinged over here. We did a roll. What is over here? Oh, a bridge. Nice. What's in here? Enemies? No, just a bunch of crap. Okie dokie! We are leaving now. We are coming out here. Do I hear enemies? I hear like buzzing. I hear flies buzzing. Wow, that thing was weak as hell. I only fired one round in it. And it died. Even that was stronger than the uh, giant piece of tree that we just discovered. Wow, that's a nice view. I like that. Okay, so I don't think we have been in here just yet, have we? No, we have not. But there's also another door over here. 
that we still haven't explored. Let's go and explore this dungeon first, and we'll see if we can't get ourselves some loot. We'll do all of the dungeons, I think. I think we'll do all of the dungeons that we can in this run, and then we'll see about collecting a hundred of those uh, GIs, the general infantries that we already discovered. The Earthen Colosseum. What the hell? Oh, there's a bunch of enemies down there. Let's uh, reload our guns by touching this gigantic rock rock. And now we will engage. Hello! Oh dear, they've doubled. They've actually doubled. Pardon, pardon me. I'm going to shoot him from behind. Not from my behind, which is uh, just disgusting, quite frankly. Okay, grab control. And also thunder arcing. Perfect. Doggo, what is it? All right, what's through here? Any more enemies? I do see another enemy just over there. The hell is that? Is this guy blowing two trumpets with his nose? Or is he just like, is this some kind of, am I allowed to show this on YouTube? Is this, is this supposed to be like the Yation version of smut? Gross. Gross. Hello! Hello there residents of the Earth and Coliseum. I didn't realize that there would be anybody else here. Great point. Nice. Can't wait to uh, spend it on literally garbage. Where'd he go? Oh, I think he's in the ground. He's aggroed on Doggo. Whoops. Luckily, we swapped to our Tesla gun just in the nick of time just then. Oh, hello there, sir. How are you? Would you like some electricity? Okay, I'm going to push on and 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 on this way. We'll see if we can't get ourselves some more kills. Oop, there's more enemies right here and here. One there. One in the ground. Whoop. Okay, he actually just ganked us. He did it. He did a turn, Midia. Doggo, what are you doing? Whoa, Doggo did a lot of damage to that guy. Let's take his bits and we will run. Oh, hello there, Pot. I did not see you there. Whoop. Let's uh, get the Tesla gun out for the crowd control. Uh, because we can back arcs off of enemies. They get these far off guys as well. Oh, there's another one right here. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, no. Okay, so we do have a mod that actually triples the amount of enemies here as well, which is pretty funny. Okay, that is a special. That is not good. That is actually not muy bueno. That is not good at all. Probably should have probed him with a big slowing probe, but it did not matter. Is there more? At least that's over. Doesn't sound like there's more. Sounds like we're going this way. Hello, sir. Would you like some of these bullets? I have plenty. Okay, let's shoot this guy right here in his ass. Get a get a good kill. Okay, we have to reload. Uh, the crowd is building up. Let's get crowd control back out. Good, and this guy as well has to go. Oh, okay, hello. Is that a, an abomination? Do I sense an abomination down here? Uh, I'm going to get the Tesla gun out. What the hell? What the hell? What and the, what is that? Why is it duplicating me? Ow, oh, it's, it's punching me. And I was so slow, I couldn't actually get it. Okay, we've got to take this one out. I think, I think there is actually like a clone enemy uh, just over here. Right here, I think this is it. I think this is the guy. Whoa, hello. Good green. That's not good. Uh, gonna dodge that, of course. Doggo is probably not in a great place, but it doesn't really matter that much. We should probably use the spine on him. Uh, use it! Come on! Okay, I'm going to roll all the way this way for fun. Uh, no! No, no, no! We may die. Doggo is actually doing pretty well. But he's not targeting as effectively as he should be. Okay, that was a pretty good shot. I just forced him to get absolutely annihilated by his own dude. I'm gonna roll through the root rock here. Piss off! Piss off me! Okay, good. And... Got him! And we're gonna get these two as well. This guy actually is an absolute pain in the penis. Would you cease? Okay, good. Uh, let's get our hard hitter out and we'll reload it, of course. That's exactly what we'll do. And before that guy hits us, we'll get our crowd control out and we will start getting a little bit pissed off with all of the unnecessary amounts of cloning. Okay, let's gap it out this way. We will try and do a dragon heart. Boop. Okay, good. Almost just got punched. Why haven't we reloaded our gun? 
My God! Okay, I'm actually running away like an absolute coward. Which is fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Murder! Murder time! Okay, we'll stun this guy. My God, he's got iframes. That's really annoying. Oh my God, these dice! They literally do not disappear. Okay, I'm running off of the ledge here. Gonna put some distance in between us. I'm going to bank some shots off of the side of him. Good. We'll pick up a little bit of ammo. We'll reload, of course. Piss off! These clones are so obnoxious! I'm still fighting this wanker! Because I can't find the time to actually fight him! Okay, we're fighting him now, and we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him with thunder. We got him with thunder. He's dead. He's actually dead. His ads are not dead, annoyingly. Okay, good. Got him, and this guy has to go too. Good! Oh boy, that was actually a really, really tricky fight. Good grief. The, the triple spawns on that one, very rough. Very rough indeed. Oh, he dropped a bunch of cool stuff. What's up here? What'd he drop? A bunch of cool stuff. Nice! Okay, we got a new mutator, which is pretty cash money. Let's go into our inventory, and we'll see how we use this. Is it in here? Yes, it is. It's this one. Increases the weapon's range damage by 7.5%, depending on how close the magazine is to full. That would be good for a one-shot weapon, but it's not good for us at all. Whatsoever. Yeah. Also, level 10 is, is very substantial, but again, one-shot weapon only. Probably good for the sniper rifle, but not so much for anything else. Searing wounds. Increases range damage of this weapon by 1% to burning targets. We are not using burning whatsoever. We are doubling down on the arcing electricity because it is very functional. Come over here. I do see a purple thing on the map. We will pick it up. See what this is. It is 500 scrap, which means we already picked it up before. I'm going to reload this gun. Hello! I'm... Why? No, I didn't! Ugh. I don't know why I just pulled out my melee weapon. I did not press the button to melee whatsoever. I did not do anything. Oh, I think we're actually about to encounter a box. I see a bonfire on the map over here. We've activated it. This is a boss. Okay, crazy. Uh, let's come over here. We'll wait for Doggo to sit so we can pet Doggo. Or not. I hear some stomping outside. What is this? Hello, sir. How was your day? I'm just exploring. What's your name? I'm Jensen. Have you subscribed? Okay, I imagine we have to kill all of his ads up top. Otherwise, he's just going to regenerate health like crazy. Good thing we've got Doggo. I think he will actually make a huge difference against this guy. Okay, he's a melee main, I think. No! Oh, he's so slow. And he double hits every time he strikes down. That actually sucks. All right, good. Uh, he's going to do another swing. Damn, he is tough. Okay, dodge that, of course. Dodge his sand, his pocket sand. He literally just threw pocket sand at me. Okay. I thought that we could side sweep those, but it's not looking like we can. Uh, let's get away from him. Let's fire off our unlimited ammo for absolutely no logical reason. Okay, that was the double attack that we really need to start attack, uh, dodging better. Whew. He's actually quite tough. He harasses us, it seems. It seems like that's his thing, to harass us. So let's get in there. We'll fire a bunch of probes onto him straight off the bat. Hopefully we won't get hit immediately. All right, we got four off. Good, we dodged that. So we've slowed him, which is good, uh, but because we've slowed him, we actually just absolutely whipped that shot and that shot too. Man, he is very, very formidable. NGL. Pocket sand! Okay. That broke in mid-ear. The crescent broke in mid-ear. Ow. Obviously, ow. Okay. I actually hate this boss. This boss is uh, wanting nothing more than to get me to swear at him. He sucks. I think that maybe we should just get used to elemental probes and a, a damage over time, try and get him with attrition. Okay, missed. Missed. No, we got that one, good. 
Okay, that was a really good roll. I do say so myself. Good. Ah, uh, he's missing a weapon, I think. Pocket hand. Okay, good. And one more. Good. And we've latched onto him so we can actually start firing at him too. Uh, we'll leap away from that because it looks absolutely dreadful. Ow. Okay, thank you, gun. This gun actually cost us a bunch of HP. Okay, good. Gonna start firing again. Gonna dodge that, of course. And dodge the pocket sand. And he's gonna do a big slam. I'm not interested. I'm not having it. Uh, good. Let's use our glass skill uh, to put a bunch of debuffs on him. Okay. Good. He's probably gonna do his big drop uh, slam now. No, he's not. Yep, he is. And it hit us, too. That's not good. Let's try a dragon heart. Boop. Good. And we'll start dodging. Excellent. That was really good dodges. We'll regenerate our health. Thanks, unlimited ammo, for making me take that goddamn hit again. Uh, what's happening? I don't understand. Why are we going up? What is happening? Oh, piss! That's not very nice. What the hell? Cease! Okay, I'm going to start rolling over here. Good. And now we want to attack him, don't we? He's probably going to come up from the from the ground, right? It's probably best to run around in circles right now. Well, let's get this out and we'll start probing him. One, two. There we go. Good. Dodge me. Pocket sand. Dodge that, of course. And these two. Good. Now we'll get this one. This big clapper of a gun. Okay, he's doing a big slam. We actually took that hit, unfortunately. Okay, thank you again, gun, for costing us possibly the entire fight. Okay, dodge away from that one, and we'll get our health up just by dealing damage, I think. And we'll dodge that. Probably dodge the pocket sand as well. Good. Uh, okay, didn't dodge that. Didn't quite dodge that. Okay, oh, damn it. All right, so we got his health down two thirds. And now we're using our doggo heal, which is pretty damn good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Nice attack, buddy. It did not take. I'm going to dodge whatever he's throwing out. Two of them. Good. I remember those. Now he's probably going to do a big drop slam. Yep, there it goes. Let's deal a bunch of damage. Doggo is also passively dealing heaps of damage too, which is quite nice. Okay, good. We probably want to reload this gun now. We're going to stand over here and just fire. Because it seems to work really, really well. Okay, what's over here? We're probably going to dodge through this one, I think. Okay, good. Yes, very good, actually. And now we want to reload, of course. Uh, we've got full health, which is pretty good. Uh, we took that one, unfortunately. Good. Uh, dodge by me. Dodge the pocket sand. And now we do more damage. Gonna dodge away from that because it actually hurts really hard. Uh, okay, he's got his rings out. He's got two rings. We gotta dodge them both. And I think this is it. I think we got it. Last ditch. Okay, we actually dodged that as well. We didn't have to dodge that, but we did. Nice. Okay, so we killed him. Honestly, I don't like him that much. He is actually a, a very aggressive enemy. <laughs> Like, probably a bit too aggressive for me to say, hey, that was a fun boss. Whoops. I wanted to dodge. Right. So through here is probably a map transition, if I'm not mistaken. It does look like a map transition, doesn't it? So we'll go through here. We'll try and unlock maybe a stone on the other side of here. And then we will come back in and we'll see if we can't clear off the rest of the zone. Because there is so much more of this area to explore than just what we saw there's all of this over here so we're definitely going to go back gonna take a nice drink of my crapple mm. but i love crapple so much it's delicious and we are golden oops where are we ah good checkpoint perfect so now we can travel here i don't know where this is the luminous veil there is actually an item ahead and below us. I'm going to go up here really quickly. Try and see what we're dealing with immediately. Whoa, okay. Oh my god! Okay. We just got flooded. 
Right. Let's do this. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've just we've just opened up a giant waterfall. I think we're going to be able to do some more stuff with that. Let's see what's in here. See if there's enemies in here. There might be collectibles in here. Uh, it doesn't actually look like it now that I look at the mini map. It just looks like a, a long winding path to the end. I'm going to go back. We're going to go and clean up the Stone Colosseum. No, we're not, actually. We are going to travel there if we can. Fast travel from a giant rock cock, if we have the ability to do, to do so. And through here. All right, what else am I saying? That could be an enemy. Nope, that's not an enemy. Quite lucky. Quite lucky indeed. There is an elevator right here. And there's a dude in here and to our left. Is probably the guy looking at the murals. There he is. We're about to get some more lore. So you're basically on a revenge mission for the goddess, right? Monster. How could you? I swear to... to... Oh, it is my friend. Thank goodness. I am... Not well. Not well at all. Oh, you poor thing. What do you have for now. sale? <laughs> Fine. Okay, he's obviously just uncovered something really, really uh, dark, friend. right? He's probably just learned the if truth I about his people. Uh, I've got questions. That mural looks intense. It's Difficult to look at. Uh, being alone with this new truth has been... It has been... Just know that I am glad for the company. What did you find out? What did I find? Yeah. If it must know, proof of heinous betrayal and cruel misuse of power. And, and the downfall of my lost tribe at her despicable hands. Once the pen priesthood had pried every last secret of the living stones from the captured goddess Lydusa, they granted her the mercy of truth. A bitter truth that would ruin everything they'd worked so hard to build. See? Thelos had long ago died from injuries sustained during his capture. A tragic and unintentional loss as he was well loved by his people. But the goddess went mad! In her fury, she broke free from her prison. Then she. She. What did she do? She murdered them. Oh. In a cold, cruel rage. She well, that's what she said, the too. Living constructs against them. And together, they swept through that utopian kingdom and decimated the lost tribe. Only the priests remained, confined to the throne room. Drenched in blood, she demanded Talos' body, but it had long since been burned. They could not comply even if they wished to, but she did not care. She is incapable of such emotion. She killed them, and that was that. The end of my lost tribe. They're gone. Destroyed. Forever. All because of a failed goddess who did not think us worthy of her power. She must pay. It is wrong. Wrong! I mean, there are two sides of a coin here. You do realize that you captured a goddess and imprisoned her so that you could harvest her for information on how to become gods yourself. Uh, what's the matter, though? What does it think is the matter? My hopes and dreams have crumbled and fallen. The lost tribe is no more, and the secrets of her power are lost. I will never escape. It is either a life of loneliness in the jungle or of deplorable servitude back home. I cannot go back. I will not go back to that life of misery. But I cannot hide in the wreckage of the lost tribe either, barely scraping by. There is nothing left for me. My dream is dead. I am a walking corpse. But at least you found the truth, right? Truth be damned! I was not doing this for truth. And lie. I wanted to find the lost tribe and join their society. And once I found out about their power over stones, I had foolishly hoped to overthrow Genus and her tyrannical hold over the pen. I dreamed of a Yesha where every pan could rise and fall based on their own merits. Where they're free to choose what shape their life will take. Where there is no cabal of immortal elites who treat us like expendable pawns. But it is over. 
Finished. Ella's tribe is gone, and the goddess, her secrets are her own once again. It is hopeless. If Man, this guy's a Debbie Downer. Walt would like to be alone. Always. Always alone. Okay, well, that's a uh, nice Walt. Paths again. Remember Walt kindly. I can't. You literally just spat anger in my face and trauma dumped on me. Anyway, uh, hey there, Scott's World. How are we doing? Didn't get a notification for this for some reason. It happens. YouTube streaming, I don't think, is the most curated part of YouTube by far. Uh, let's leave that goat man to his misery and woes, and we'll go ahead here, possibly even finding the true goddess. Mud rub. <laughs> wow. Okay, on the other side of this gate, I imagine there's going to be some kind of boss fight. Where are we? We're on the proving grounds. That's new. Okay, we're gonna go up onto the left. Oh, hello! I didn't realize there would be enemies in here. Kinda makes a lot of sense though, now that I think about it. It is called the Proving Grounds for some reason. Uh, let's get our Tesla gun out for the crowd control. Looking good. Look, there's nothing here. Oh, I see. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. This isn't looking good, is it? Doggo literally leapt off a gigantic ledge to go and fight a stone. Doggo is actually MVP right now. Doggo's crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's a good thing we took him. Because I was not prepared to jump off of him. So Jebel is this Saturday? Yes, as is, uh, I plan, chapter two. <laughs> we killed him inside the ground, that's funny. Uh, there's a statue right here. There's a statue of something. I'm gonna start firing at the Arctic, because we are at range. Oh, that's a special. Crowd control time. There we go, good. I don't know if there's going to be anybody else attacking us. It seems like there is. There's one more in there. I think Doggo just bit that stone to death. There's a giant statue here. What does it do? I am wearing its armor, so I suspect that there's going to be something... Oh, hello there, sir. I didn't quite see you there. I suspect there's going to be some kind of, like, unique dialogue if we just wear this. We could potentially start wearing the Red Widow armor to kind of hedge our bets and not put all of our eggs into one cosmetic basket, so to speak. There is a thing up here. There's a ladder. Hello there. Die! Thank you. We'll come up here. Not seeing a hell of a lot else. Can't wait for Jevil? Yeah, I think a lot of people are waiting for the Jevil. I haven't played him though. I should probably like practice him a little bit. He's tough. He's really, really tough. I looked up his wiki and I saw his move set. He's got like, what, nine phases? Which is pretty crazy. Pretty insane. I mean, that's actually more content than all of the kind of like pleb enemies put together. Uh, there we go. Take him out. And we're gonna go down a little bit further. I kinda wanna see what's in that hole right there. We can, we can actually just go in there. Good thing we didn't jump in there because there was a guy down the bottom of it. Excellent. We'll take this here item. That is a War of the Worlds horn. That's a bad thing. Oh, hello there, Pop. I didn't see you there. That's a lot of arcing. That's a lot of electricity arcing. Oh no. Oh no, not these guys. These guys suck. Okay, he's uh, popped his, his horrible shot at me, and now he's gonna do a big rock slam. No, he's not. He's gonna fire a second one of those for the first time in the entire game that we have experienced. Okay, good. We will dodge that. Apparently, we are going to try and reload our gun, but fail miserably in doing so. Good. I'm going to latch that onto him. He's gonna do a drop slam. I don't particularly hear. We're gonna dodge away from that so we can get access to our gun again. And I think now is probably the time for dodge. And also, dead. No avoiding, no avoiding that one. Uh, we dodged way too early and the guy just drop slammed us as we were kind of stunned and recovering. All right, so he wasn't particularly hard to get to. He is annoying to fight. I think those, uh, those gigantic bird dudes are probably my least favorite enemy in the game. Oh, and it gave us the bug where we can't see the chain lightning anymore. Great, I'm really excited for the new Dead Space episodes. How did the session go anyways? It went perfect, actually. I'm really proud of the next one that's coming out. I did a bit of animating. Um, the, what is it called? The, the gigantic gun that I keep calling the BFG. I put like BFG music in the background every time I fire it. It looks absolutely sick. Okay, uh, we're going to recover a little bit of our health just by dealing some damage and we're almost at full. 
He's gonna come after these guys now. Hello. What's your name? I'm Yipson. Subscribe. Okay, good. Wonderful. BFG. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is a BFG. It deserves a soundtrack worthy of its namesake. Okay, I'm gonna take all of this crap and I'm gonna pick up all of this ammo as well. We might want to try and get the drop on that gigantic special though. The really annoying special that uh, keep trying to gank us. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother up there. The doggo might kill this guy. Never mind, we stepped in. We stepped in for a bit. Doing pretty damn well. All right, so where is this damn thing? Because we want to latch a shot onto it before it engages with us. Doggo, you take care of that one. Or you could just face tank it. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Don't worry, Doggo. I got them all. You, you just keep doing you. Where the hell is that special? I swear there was one here. We just died to it, didn't we? Okay, there's a pot down there. I don't see it. I don't see the special. Okay, that's not good. Let's fire at this thing. We're not going to latch onto it because it's, it's too slow to dodge our attacks. And it's just not worth it, honestly. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, let's fire a shot. And we'll use homing shots to get him. Actually, no. We'll probe him a couple of times, I think, with this. And then we will fire a big kick-ass gun. We'll, uh, launch that one down. We're going to dodge that, of course. Now we're going to pop all of the status effects that we can on him. Pretty damn good. And he's going down. He went down fast. Wowie. 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 Started playing Brutal Doom recently. It's easier than I expect, but still very difficult. It's so hard on PlayStation. I had to crack at it on PlayStation. It's damn near impossible with a controller. It'd be good with a, with a mouse, because you can actually look. But on PlayStation, it's, it's almost undoable. Unless you get like a Zim, one of those XIM things that allow you to use a uh, keyboard and mouse on a PlayStation, but even that, those things are super unreliable, and often have input delay. It's okay, good. Oh, hello there, I didn't see you. There is a thing up there. I think it's waterfalls, but I'm not entirely sure. Probably want to maybe explore down here for a quick smidge, see if there's any goodies, which there are most certainly not. Okay. What you stream on the VR? Watch my last stream on the VR. Oh, on, you're wearing a VR. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? The mod is available for the PlayStation? What mod? What mod? No, no, I mean like uh, the hardest difficulty on Doom. Can't remember what it's called specifically, but it's... It's brutal, I'll tell you that. Tell you that much. Okay, there is a trade point down here. Was all of that beat down just for a trade... No, it wasn't. There's actually more down here. Can we pray to this thing? No. No, we cannot, unfortunately. Okay. There is a bonfire down here, so I imagine we're about to come into some kind of uh, uh, open contact, maybe? Or even some kind of bloody trap land? Oh, this screams bloody trap land. Well, okay. Well, that was unexpected. Okay. I kind of... I'm getting the vibe... Oh, I think I actually see an exploit. Or do I? Yeah, I do. Okay, this is going to be easier than I thought. Let's go! <laughs> Just take the uh, the outskirts. Oh no, what? Are you taking the piss? No shot. That is stupid. That is actually a stupid mechanic. Fire all of them! Fire all of them! Don't just only trigger them when the player is close enough to have it triggered. That's obnoxious. Okay, I'm still going again. Good. And we'll... Okay. The, uh, the ledge grabbing mechanic actually just let us down really, really badly right then. That wasn't actually our fault. That was, that was the game itself. Maybe it's because of the statues there. Let's get rid of that. Because it's annoying. Okay. There is not anywhere near enough time to not be in the way of this goddamn thing. That is so stupid. That is ridiculously stupid. I was playing a mod for the OG Doom called Brood. Oh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've heard of that one. I've never played it myself. Markiplier played it in his early years. 
So when I was like 10, downloaded it, it sucked real bad, reminded me recently, so I tried it out. Have you seen um the, what is it called? There's a mod for Doom. I think it's called like The House or something like that. Okay, we'll wait for that one to fire. Grab the ledge! Our character is actually brain dead. Oh my god, that is so frustrating. Can we just like roll over this and not trigger it? Nope, don't have a choice. Okay, gotcha. I'm running. Good, actually that triggered the next ones. Oh, this one's turned off, okay. So we'll wait until it fires the ones above our heads before we sprint. Let's go, we're doing it. Go! Oh, that was so close. Okay, I'm gonna go in this way. Okay, that was lucky. That was not. And unfortunately, because Doggo can't be asked following us, we're just gonna die here. Oh, we literally have to bleed out. We don't have a choice. Because the arrows aren't shooting high enough. You've gotta be taking the piss. This is a this is a really stupid area. This was not well thought out. This, this is probably the worst thought out area of the game by far. I know once you do it a couple of times, it'll get a little bit easier, but we haven't actually been hit by those arrows based on our own negligence. It's all just been the game itself throwing a hissy fit at our expense. Okay, I'm gonna take this up. Oh. Where is Doggo? I'm getting angry. I'm actually getting angry at this game. It's not hard, it's just a stupid area. It's a really badly designed area. Okay, we'll wait for him to fire those, then we'll jump across here. We're not gonna get hit, of course. Okay, good. We'll wait for that one to go again before we jump into that area. Okay, good. And as our time is now. Now we have to literally gap it this way. Good. Whee! STANDING ON THE GODDAMN THING! Standing on that platform, for those who don't know, disables the arrows that are shooting in your direction. So that you don't have to focus on the ones behind you anymore. I've seen it happen every single time we've gone through here so far. There we go! See? That happens! As soon as this one goes, I'm jumping. Okay, and now I'm going this way. Now I'm jumping over here. Don't you dare! Okay, that was very close. That's the one that... I am so close to rage quitting. I am so, so close to rage quitting this game because of this one area. Just have all of the arrows go at once so that the player can see what they're doing wrong. Don't just camp snipe the goddamn player for playing the game. It doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? I'm jumping. The arrows passed over our head. Why did it go again? That's a first. That is a first. That, that was probably the first one that was caused by us. That was, the, that was the first death caused by us, the player. As opposed to the actual game mechanic that we're trying to work our, our way around right here. Okie dokie. Fire that one. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go this way. Good. Fire those ones over here. We're going to jump. We're going to climb onto this zone right here. We're going to get out of the way. And then we are going to gap it on here. And then we want to keep going around. What? That was the other one that fired first! This. <laughs> this is the 
least consistent area that we've seen so far. By far, by, by a long shot. I am actually dumbfounded. I am becoming speechless. Okay, I'm going. I don't care. Okay, we want that one to fire first over here. And then we want to go. Yep, and we want to get out of the way, of course. And now we fire over here. Glitch mechanic let us down. Again. Wonderful. Uh, we'll try again. We'll try again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try again. We have taken way harder hits in this game, by the way, than a couple of fiddly little arrows. Okay, good. Pop up on here. Okay, that one to go, and then we'll jump onto this ledge and probably get hit by the arrows because we are stuck in the climbing animation, unfortunately. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Okay. I suppose we just have to try again. Right? That's that's the name of the game. Keep on trying. Keep on trying again and 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 again. Okay, I'm jumping. Thank you. Wait for that one to go. In fact, I'm jumping anyway. I don't really care. Okay, go. Fire. Good. And now we run. Jump up on there. That is a literal 50-50 chance of screwing you. There is a literally a 50-50 chance that when you hit this platform right here, the game will just f*** you. You need to carry on. I am literally going to rage quit. I am so close to rage quitting. One death. One death out of the 20 f***ing deaths we've had so far has been our fault. The rest of it is just bullshit that the developers put in the game to artificially inflate the amount of time you spent playing it! Go. Good. I'm leaping. Uh, we're stuck on the leap animation, unfortunately, which had us killed again. Again, not our fault. That's intended mechanics um, of the game. That's fine. It's just anger. It's just anger. I, I can overcome anger. I've overcome a bunch of different things. There's a purple thing on the map over here, too. Oh, no, it's not. It's like way beneath us. Okay, I'll wait for that one to go, and then we will jump. Do we jumpy wumpy? There we go. Right! I've just figured out that when you stand on the platform, it's the side that you stand on that triggers the first wave of arrows. We'll wait for this one to go, and then we'll jump. And hopefully while we're in this climbing animation, we can move. Good. This one. I think we can actually make it across this way. Okay, see, here's the thing, right? Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! So there is no actual way of guaranteeing your path through here. There is no way to guarantee your path through here. All there is, is literally just keep on rolling 50-50 chance on whether or not you're just gonna be sniped straight out of the gate. What a crock of shit. That's so poorly designed. Why would anyone put this in the game? Okay, we'll wait for this one to proc. There we go. And now we run. Almost just got caught in the uh, climbing animation again. Alright, let's run over here. Because we can actually guarantee this one. Okay, and to the side. And... Okay. No! No! The Amnesia custom story I put in the Discord is always an option. Yep. <laughs> but I I did say that I really wanted to beat this. I have been looking forward to playing this DLC for a while now, and I've borderline forgot that it even exists. We'll wait for this one, and then we'll jump. Good. And now we are going to stay on this side. 
We're going to base it over here. And then we're going to run off of this ledge right here. Right. So, which way is it firing? It's firing into the way I was going, which means I couldn't go in the wrong... Why? Why is this in the game? Why is this intended by the developers to be in the game? There's so much more! this <laughs> like <laughs> th this is probably the most bullshit thing that i have played in years that is stupid game design we're not even gonna bother play that that's stupid we're out of here we're leaving screw this place it's just a badly designed area why would we stay here why would we stay there and, and give ourselves headaches Okay, we'll go back out and we'll see if there's actually a fun thing to do because there there are a lot of fun zones in this In this DLC that one's just not one of them Wiimod is my friend What's Wiimod? Who's Wiimod? Is that like a um Is that a companion in Remnant 2's uh, Yasha DLC? Okay, we're gapping it out of here. Screw this place. Actually, wasn't there a bonfire? We could probably just leave the dungeon using that Oh, but I really want to beat it. <laughs> oh, I really want to beat it. Really want to beat it. Bags full. Mm, I can't believe I'm actually going back. Okay, what's the other way? Let's go and see what the other way is. Maybe it's a little less bollocks than the one we've been trying to do. Is it locked? Yeah. It's locked. Who'd have thought? Great! I can't believe I'm actually going back to do this. I literally cannot believe it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Remnant 2's Yeshi DLC, and right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description below is my Discord. Why don't you go over there and vent in the That's Frustrating channel, like I'm just about to right after I end this episode. So thank you for watching and goodbye.